Well, welcome back everybody. The Colonel and I are here at Pima Tuning State Park in Andover, Ohio. I believe that's the nearest town. Anyway, this was an unplanned trip, a last minute, spur of the moment trip. I was supposed to be RV camping with my wife for the next two nights at West Branch State Park in Ravina, Ohio to do a little visit at Cuyahoga State Park. She is sick and she told me to get out and do a solo hike. And I was like, eh, I don't really feel like hiking. I'm gonna call the Colonel up. And sure enough, <laughs> here he is. And we made a three hour and 45 minute drive to get up here. Colonel, it felt like we drove two states worth the distance. We're still in Ohio. Yeah, this is a long haul up here, way up in the northeast corner of Ohio. But this was the only place that was not calling for rain all day tomorrow. We looked at Kentucky, Indiana, Pennsylvania, the entire state of Michigan, including the Upper Peninsula, rain everywhere, except Northeast Ohio. So here we are. And now we are just waiting on the fire to burn down to some good coals. And we have a couple of delicious steaks. And of course, sweet corn. Sweet corn. Steaks and sweet corn at 10 p.m. Doesn't get no better than that. The old Nemo pad's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. I have about four states worth of cities in here that I kind of keep an eye on with temperatures and weather. We're like the only one getting rain right now. What the heck? The sweet corn is on and currently enjoying some appetizers, salt and vinegar, and fried dill pickle. Colonel says this is the last heavy burst of rain. I don't believe you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, it's moving out. Yeah, it won't be too much longer. The corn is done and the steak is on. Colonel decided to save his steak for tomorrow, but I am starving. This is worthless. We needed a real spoon or a real fork, Colonel. This is terrible. Well, we, we forgot that. We got to make do. We're supposed to be roughing it. Mmm, <laughs> good stuff. Final week of sweet corn of 2021, right here, folks. Colonel's getting ready to taste. <laughs> corn from the final patch of oh. 2021. Oh yeah, here it goes. Just as good as it was in May, or June. <laughs> you mean July? <laughs> There's no corn in June in Ohio. <laughs> yeah, it was, your buddy down south. No, we had that in July. Oh. Is it hot still? Oh, very. Is it tasty? Very. Good. Yep. Hits the spot. Corn over the fire. Hard to beat. Well, after some good steak and corn, we are ready to turn in. The rain has stopped. We just got a little drizzle coming off the tree leaves above us. But uh, we're looking forward to adventuring out onto Pima Tuning Lake tomorrow morning. So we'll see you guys then. Good night. Looking good. There we go. There's a nice cloud. Ooh, man. Ooh. Mm, can't fire bacon. Oh, yeah. All right, we got our eight eggs in Colonel's coffee mug ready to go. Let's eat. Super up.
I've never been more uncomfortable. <laughs> Colonel, it's about that time. It is. Time to get on the water. Oh, geez, Colonel, this is hanging heaven. How did we not see this part of the campground? 332. 334. So 330, 332, and 334. Deeply wooded, lots of hanging trees. And then right up here, you get to the premium sites that are full service, right here along the water. 338, there's Restless Outdoors' favorite site right there. Oh. Not bad, Restless. Not bad. Seen better, but not many. <laughs> <laughs> that one's not bad right here. I like that, go back in the woods. There's a lot of uh, woods. That's the 371 that Adam likes. Okay. Yeah, you get a lot of room back in there. I can see why that's a good one. There was a huge grass issue back there where we launched from. It was like right at the water surface and we're constantly getting tangled up. It is choppy out here today. We're gonna go check out this island. Here we go. Oh gosh. So as soon as we go past this island, we are officially in Pennsylvania waters. So all these homes along the coast line over here, shoreline is Pennsylvania. Coming up on this island here, it sure looks kind of cool. Makes me wonder if there's some good stealth camping up in there. I see people are leaving their toilet paper behind. All right, let's check this little island out. It would be very breezy to camp here, but I'm telling you, there have been people staying on this island. Let's see if we can find the remnants of a campfire. Right there. You could definitely make this work. Very windy though. What do you think, Colonel? Yeah, Man, that's here. a perfect tent site right there. Right here. Um, I could hang a hammock right there between those two trees. A little too breezy for us, and we don't have a need to stealth camp. We have a campsite at Pyman Tooney State Park. A little rough today. Currently on our way to see the dam and the spillway. And it's bumpy as heck. Oh, jeez. Ah, good night. I want a herniated disc. This is a pretty big body of water. How many acres did you say it was? Uh, 17,000. 17,000 acre lake. Well, it's a reservoir. And we're trying to locate where the dam is. We don't know if it's that way or that way. So we're looking on Google Maps right now. We just we don't want to. We're on the Pennsylvania right yeah, now. Yeah, oh yeah, we're definitely on the Pennsylvania side. But we want to go check out this dam and spillway. It's always something fun to do when we're out on a big body of water like this. But it is choppy today. My camera's been getting soaked. I got to ride with my camera under my shirt. A lot smoother over here. Oh, this is, this is like glass. So we just uh, ran aground <laughs> right here between the woods and this little island. Oh, I don't know, what is it, about 80 yards across? Uh, it's about a foot and a half deep. Fortunately, Colonel slowed down just in the nick of time, then all of a sudden it's like, boom, it just came to a halt. And we had to push our way out with oars. Now we're back in about two and a half foot of water trying to get around this uh, little island. Coming up on the dam and spillway here, less than a half mile. That sun is really trying to pop through. We got another public beach over here, it looks like. A little smoother water over here. But we're currently looking for a place that we can get out for a quick peek over the dam here and see what it looks like. Um, it looks like this might be a little beach over here. I just can't tell if that's a private residence up in the woods. No, we're gonna check this out first over here and then make our way to the other side. All right, so we are here at the dam deep in Pennsylvania waters. 
and it doesn't look like there's really a place for us to get out over here. So Colonel's just gonna drop me off along these uh, this pretty cool flagstone looking dam, and I'm gonna hop across the road and take a look at it. It looks like it drops off pretty deep. Yeah. And these rocks look very slimy and slick. Perfect, Colonel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what are we gonna see here? Oh, a roadway. I'll have to hop across here. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, pretty small dam. Well, not much to see here. Back in the Colonel boat. Hopefully he's still right down here waiting for me. There he is. Heading back to the campground. We have arrived back to Pima Tuning State Park Campground. And I don't know if you can see this, but it is moss and grass everywhere. The Colonel don't like that. No, it's terrible. We're gonna head back to camp. Oh my gosh, I got some crazy here. We're gonna head back to camp, evaluate the weather forecast, and decide if we're gonna be taking off, heading home here in two or three hours, or stay night number two. Well, we have just arrived back to camp and look what we discovered. <laughs> our our pop-up tent flipped over in the wind while we were out on the lake. And when I was driving up here, I was all freaking out thinking it might have landed on my hammock gear, Dyneema tarp. Look at that. Holy moly, it doesn't get any closer than that. No damage to the tent or the tarp. Woo! I'd have been pretty pissed, Colonel, if I came back and my tent was damaged and my 300 some dollar Dyneema tarp was damaged. I think the people mowing the grass did that. Come on. Look at my tent. I didn't leave it there and I didn't put firewood on the corners. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh. Oh, we had a campfire ferry. They saw this blow over and they thought your tent was gonna blow away so they put weight on it. Well, it That's what you tent. get for not Let's... staking it down. I did stake it down, but I pulled the stakes before we left. Why'd you do I that? I wonder if it was in the fire and they dug it out. Oh my gosh. Is, it, is, is there any melt holes? Is anything <laughs> On the menu for lunch today, bratwurst from our local butcher down the road from our farm. And of course, fresh sweet corn from our farm. Everything is just about ready to go. Yeah, you know, I think if we do this again, we could just look at the campground on the internet. If it's wide open like this one was, yeah. show up and steal it. He's just kidding. <laughs> Everything turned out great. The bratwurst are, yeah, maybe a little bit on the blander side. You know, the local butcher didn't really put many herbs and spices in these things. No buns, no bread. Um, just ketchup, mustard, and homemade relish. Very good. Mm. Excellent lunch before we uh, hit the road and head home. And for dessert, homegrown watermelon. It's gonna be real fun cutting with this little dinky pocket knife. We'll give her a shot. When you don't have a proper plate or a proper knife, you cut the heart right out of the center. Mm. That's amazing. Very mm. juicy. Well, folks, that's gonna wrap it up here at Pima Tuning State Park. Thank you so much for coming along. We just about have everything packed up, ready to head home to Belly Fontaine, Ohio. Until next time, this is the Colonel. I'm Jason Wish, wishing, wishing you a great time on your next adventure. adventure.